Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we are taking a look at just a really interesting prototype part even, it's not really even the whole gun, a prototype polymer frame for the high power pistol. Now this was manufactured in South Africa in the mid-1980s by a company called Smith & Beecham. It was uh, Roy Smith and Stuart Beecham, and what they actually got started doing was making a little 380 caliber automatic pistol that didn't really become popular or successful or go anywhere. Uh, and one of their other experiments was this polymer frame for the high power. So let's take a closer look at it so you can actually see what this thing is. So here is the Smith & Beecham experimental model, and just for comparison's sake we have a standard uh, high power along with it. You'll find this is actually a bit narrower. It's a little hard to see, but it's basically kind of the width of a high power without the wooden grip panels. And to be entirely honest, a standard high power feels a lot better in the hand than this guy. Now in terms of actual weight reduction, um, we measured these out. The standard is 900 grams, or uh, 31.7 ounces. The Smith & Beecham one with the polymer frame is 808 grams, or 28.5 ounces. So you only actually gain uh, 92 grams, or just over 3 ounces, well lose, 3 ounces of weight by going to the polymer frame, which is really not that much change. It's about a 10% change in the overall weight of the gun. Now the reason it's not more substantial is you can't just drop the lock work of a high power into a polymer shell. It'll, you know, deform after probably single digit number of rounds. So they had to put a, a heavy duty steel skeleton inside the frame. Taking this apart is actually a little bit tricky because the slide stop pin here is really tight in the gun. So I'm going to press it out with a punch. So disassembly is just like standard high power. Pull the pin, pull the slide off. The slide is completely normal. In fact this is a, a generic high power slide. It's the frame here that has all of the unique elements. So you can see the reddish hue to this internal reinforcing slide, and you can see that the the metal elements here are actually pretty hefty. So a lot of the weight that you would gain, uh, or the weight that you would lose from having a polymer frame, you gain back uh, by having this heavy steel skeleton inside. Now I am not going to pull this out because it is a gigantic pain in the rear to get this thing um, out and back in. There are four pins to remove. Uh, you got one there. This one has to come out. Rearranging the mainspring inside this frame is tremendously obnoxious, so we're going to leave it together here. But you get the idea for how it was supposed to go together. In total, only a really small handful of these were made. They were never, never actually put into production. Um, at least one of them appears to have made its way to the United States, somehow, not sure how. Um, and there was actually a possibility for this to become a production thing, and that possibility was through the Republic Arms RAP-401 pistol. This is basically a copy of the Astra, and it it's unlike some of Smith & Beecham's guns, it's actually really quite a totally functional, serviceable, nice pistol, and it was a gun that had been adopted by the South African Police Service at the time. So in the mid-80s when this was going on, the South African Police had something like 15,000 of these single stack 9mm Astra copies, and they liked them. And so Republic Arms, the manufacturer, actually got their hands on a couple of Smith & Beecham polymer frames, and as it happens the, the RAP 401 slide will almost perfectly fit onto this high power frame. It only took just a little bit of modification to get them to work interchangeably, and Republic Arms um, was hoping, well they submitted this, uh, a polymer framed version of the RAP 401 to the South African police. They were hoping that that would result in a big order, that the police would be interested in reducing the weight of what is already a compact but heavy pistol. Um, had that occurred, had they gotten an order from the police, then it would have been worth someone investing in injection tooling molding, and these could have been made in really substantial numbers. However, the police weren't interested, there was no order, and we ended up with no more than a small handful of uh, Smith and Beecham polymer high power frames. Well thank you guys for watching, um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. There's not a whole lot to this, but I thought this was just really too interesting and, and cool and unusual not to take a look at. 
So stay tuned to another cool video tomorrow, and thank you for watching.